Alert. Alert. And a completely adorable fire truck is coming down the road. Be advised, we are only going to put out the cutest and most adorable fire. This is Duncan Imports in Christiansburg, Virginia. Part car collection, part dealership. It's the vision of one man, Gary Duncan, set on bringing to America the perfect Japanese road cars we never got in the States. Figaro's, Beats, Cosmos. But we came to see something even more unique. This is a Daihatsu Hijet. You find these trucks and vans working all over the world. But ones like this from the 90s are just starting to come over to the US. This one came over as a low speed vehicle, but more importantly, it's an actual fire truck. Daihatsu has been making the high jet since 1960, and it has always been super small because it's a K car. Laid out first in the 1940s, K class vehicles are required by the government to be extra small so that they'd be easy to buy and easy to drive on narrow city streets. Over the years, manufacturers have made K hatchbacks, K vans, K sports cars, and in this case, a friggin' K fire truck. Now, Gary, what's the speed cap on one of these guys? Now, the lighter ones is 25 miles an hour. Now, the 25-year-old ones are good. About, yeah. About 60. Oh, but they will do wow. that. Wow. Yeah, and I don't wow. know what Jerry's got for you. I don't know if it's got a limiter on it or not. But I guess you'd have to go 60, because you've got to get to the fire. Is that a gated shifter? Yeah, oh so my you, god, that yeah. is a gated... We're not going to be going That down is down. a very uh, it's like straightforward a speed limiter. <laughs> this is the speed limiter. You're... You can only go into first. Or reverse. Is that, That's exactly. it. That's how the speed limiter works. Gary Duncan, an angel, let us take this little buddy for a spin. Wow, look at this thing. It's amazing. We're shifting into the only gear. First, the only gear you need. So you had a, you'd have to have a tiny fire truck because you'd have tiny streets in Japan. Big oh. city. Hey, I just make it sure you had your seatbelt on. Oh, thank you. See, so, uh, safety first, right? Yeah, safety yeah, first. All right, keep going. All right, good. Yes. So you're going to have a big city, but you're going to have tiny streets. So you need a tiny little fire truck to get to all the big buildings. That's why you have a tiny little, much like in Japan, I have these K cars, these tiny little cars. You have a tiny little fire truck, too. And it's brilliant because in the United States, we have tiny little streets in some cities. But we have big fire trucks, and they try to squeeze them down roads, and it doesn't really work. But in this case, it's absolutely brilliant. And look, all the regular fire truck stuff works too. We can do the lights. They're going. They're going. Yes. Yeah, we got lights. And then this light also does a toggle, and you can turn on an alarm. <laughs> alert! Alert! There is a high volume of Japanese cars. Alert, I repeat, there is a high volume of obscure Japanese automotive vehicles. Be advised. You could be a firefighter living in Montana, and then you buy this, and this is your fire truck. I mean, you only have first gear, but how many do you need? <laughs> is that a ship pulling into the car? What's going on here? This Open is so up, great. Mate. What's that, Jason? Open her up. Let's see what it'll do. Let's go. There you go. Full speed. Yeah. Full boost. I only have first gear. 12 miles. Oh, we're doing 20. Oh, oh. That's it. But can we actually just look at this gear shift for a second? Yes. It's, it's a mechanical speed limiter. They don't let yes. you shift. They welded a thing here so that you can't shift into any other gears. And it's brilliant because it's actually an exposed linkage, just like you get on a spiker. Yeah, give her speed. The engine is behind us. The engine it's is behind us. It's a mid-engine. Under and below us. It's a mid-engine fire truck. Michael, how is the how is the precise handling of this sporty it's vehicle? It's actually very precise. It feels incredibly light. Woo. Yeah, this is kind of incredible, right? <laughs> yeah, except it needs another gear. It, it needs, needs another, another four gears. Yes. I feel like such a badass in this thing. I'm hanging out the door. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
we should just we should just have a regular conversation via the loudspeaker. You know, this is having a regular conversation via loudspeakers. Really, sort of what the show is all about, isn't it? <laughs> Encapsulated, just you know, talking. It's nice. We can't we can't talk over each other. I guess just for the ones.